Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of this Mass on this Thursday of the first week of Lent. Today's Mass intention is being offered for the intentions of Raymond and Regina Wargo and Francis Tirano. Also for the repose of the souls, uh, soul of Nicolas Calacar. Entrance antiphone. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my sighs. Attend to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering on what is right and of, of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon, about, upon the ground, together with her handmaids, from morning until evening, and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God. And now come to help me, an orphan, put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy so that he and those who are in a league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies, turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. 
the Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, <clears throat> know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In the recent days uh, since February the 12th, the day I had my appendectomy and when people knew about it, many prayers were sent to me uh, through text. And, um, and I know that through those prayers, God's kindness was afforded to me that, you know, I personally didn't have any pain from the surgery, but certainly from the bloating because of the gas that was placed into the system. But I attest to the fact that those prayers were uh, tools and, and ways that helped me trust in the Lord that, you know, he will deliver me from any uh, acute pain and anything like that. In fact, not a single pill of um, a painkiller was taken by me or even asked by me. So I uh, bring that to, to, that, to, to today's uh, reflection. Because I know that uh, the Lord has promised us that whoever asks will receive, whoever seeks will find, and whoever knocks, the door will be opened. And when we do this, we praise God in prayer that leads us to a greater love, to a greater trust, and greater faith in him. So when Jesus tells us to ask, seek, and knock in prayer, he promises that God will have us, will hear us when we approach him with expectant faith and also with humble heart, grateful as well. And we will find the assurance that God will reward us with good gifts when we persevere, especially in our efforts and willingness to do God's will. Trusting in God's mercy and compassion, we offer our prayers and petitions. For missionaries who work to spread the gospel, may God bless their efforts in drawing others closer to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. For national and local leaders, may the grace of God grant them discerning hearts, especially 
as they emancipate laws that will protect the dignity of human life, especially protecting the innocent lives of the unborn. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the chronically ill, may God bring them healing. And also for those who are sick in the hospitals or at home bedridden due to coronavirus, that God will offer them strength and healing. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, those of you joining us in this live streaming, may the Holy Spirit unify us in love for Christ and service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> for all those who are working in the front line and for those especially volunteering to provide the, the vaccine, uh, COVID vaccine to who are receiving now, uh, who are 65 years old and older, that they too will be granted their uh, requests, protecting, protecting them from all harm. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For those who have died, especially our loved ones, we remember this time, especially for the repose of the soul of Nicolas Kalakar. May they rest in the peace of God's perfect love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for our own intentions that we now pray in silence. And for the special intentions of Raymond and Regina Wargo and Francis Terano. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear the prayers we have brought before you in the name of Jesus the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all his holy church. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication, and accepting the oblations and prayers of your people, turn the hearts of us all towards you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered aff affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Fran uh, Nicholas, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your grace, of, of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Peter Claver, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us now pray together the act of spiritual communion, which is also posted on your screen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to be the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and in time to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I just want to thank you once again, especially for the prayers that you have offered for my speedy recovery, and certainly I'm getting there, and um, it's been 12 or 13 days since my surgery. So I'm coming along and feeling, feeling much, much better. So um, just want to remind you of the devotion of Stations of the Cross, which we'll, we will do tomorrow, Friday at 6 p.m. outdoors. And for those who cannot make it, please join us in the live streaming of, of the Stations of the Cross and through the courtesy of our tech team. So uh, let's keep them in, in our prayers, and especially for their families. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the mercy they have hoped for, O Lord, come to those who make supplication to you. And may the riches of heaven be given them, that they may know what, is, what, it, is, what it is right to ask and receive what they have sought. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God.